So what's in your coffee mug this morning on the heels of a brand new study that says actually drinking up to four cups daily may help you live longer. Consumer Reports is out with a list of the best rated coffee and drip coffee makers and here to spill those beans, Elliot Weiler, Consumer Reports digital editor. Elliot, good morning to good you. Good morning. I mean, we're just a coffee obsessed nation yeah, yeah. And, and for good reason. I mean, and now we're really learning there are health benefits. Right. I think the trajectory for coffee and the benefits has been on the rise, but this year we have seen these studies. We're drinking three three or four cups a day, which for some people probably sounds like a lot of coffee, yeah. actually has some health benefits. Now, caffeine is one of those things, though, it's kind of an individual kind of thing, yes. right? If you get jittery, if you have some health issues, you might want to talk to your doctor, but the evidence is pointing to three to four cups a day actually has some health benefits. Okay, so Consumer Reports looked at coffee makers and we also looked at um, Ethiopian beans. Right. So let's start with it. We're doing drip because most people, this is how we make our coffee. I remember when my grandparents upgraded from the percolator to the drip, and this <laughs> yes. is basically what we have here. Okay. They haven't changed all that much, right? You're still pouring hot water over grounds. We have them on our countertops. The key here, Savannah, is the water temperature. The okay. brewing performance is what we're looking at. You want that to be between between 195 to 205 degrees. That okay. is what you need for a this good cup of coffee. This is the number one, this Cuisinart. Cuisinart took spots one and two. It's oh. $100. It's also the largest. It holds 14 cups. It's mm -hmm. got a nice carafe here. This yeah. is the one that I used right before I came here yes. today. And when you think about it, you want to look at a lot of things for the uh, coffee maker. How easy is the carafe to get in and out? How easy are the con controls to push and yeah. to use? This one came out, number one, with an 88 score. Okay, so you said number two is Cuisinart, so yes. number three is? This is a Consumer Reports Best Buy. It's a Hamilton Beach for only $30, okay. which is great. Yeah. The brewing performance is comparable to the Cuisinart, just a little bit lower than that, but it still gets to the right temperature, which is what you're looking for. The difference here, it has a... Few, a few fewer features, so okay. uh, it doesn't tell you when to clean it, it doesn't have a burner temperature setting, but if you're just looking for a good coffee maker to get the job done, the Hamilton Beach do it. You don't need all those bells it. and whistles necessarily. Exactly. And this right. is the Capresso. Capresso for $60, slightly lower on brewing performance, but the easiest one to set up, which okay. is great. So if you're sick of it flashing 12, that should help you. Let's do our coffee taste up, uh, test. We're doing Ethiopian beans, yep. which are all the rage. These have really grown in popularity. Yep. 30 new ones came on the market. We tested eight. So okay. I'm going to sort of play sommelier, play okay, wine, yes. coffee tester. So all of these should have kind of a tangy, fruity taste, which is probably weird to think of for coffee, mm -hmm. right? This is number one. This is number La one, Cologne. La Cologne from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. It's $15 a package. Yes. It's our most vibrant. Yes. And we're told by our expert coffee testers that yes. this should be enjoyed black to savor the full flavor. Really? Are is you this, getting any hints? It is like wine tasting. So it you're is. like supposed right. to swirl it and all of that. And I'll tell you, it's also like wine tasting where if I tell you these things, yes. and if you maybe just think about it, you may be able to taste it. Okay. Right? All right. This one is number two, Green Mountain Coffee. This is a Green Mountain Organic. The interesting thing here is it's the only K cup that we tested in, in the Ethiopian blend. Mm -hmm. Typically, our testers aren't really high on the K cup. Yes. This one did very, very well. So okay. if you have one of those pod machines, could be a good option for okay, you. Okay, and then what's our, th oh, we have three with four. Okay, yep. let's do them fast. This is Birch from New York. This is, um, should be the lightest of the flavors. Mm -hmm. Might get some lemon, might get some honey. Yes, I did get yes, some lemon I'm and honey, Elliot. <laughs> I certainly I'm did. Glad. That's $17 a package. Last, we have Stumptown, which is from Portland. Uh, this <sighs> is $16 a you package. It. You got it? You got it? I'm Come highly on. caffeinated. See if you can get a little bit of grassy there. We're, we're told it has a grassy oh, finish. Oh, grassy. Perhaps a moss. There you go. Yes. There you go. I do taste it. Okay. <laughs> All of these are available online for the most part. Okay. And while the price might seem high, if you break it down per cup, yep. 50 to 70 cents, so cheaper than the uh, local coffee shop and maybe a nice weekend treat. Okay. I am really caffeinated.